Right, how's it going everyone? I'm Stratosphere and welcome back to Novice to Master, where today I'm going to be going through a full guide of Strat's paint add-on, which is the first add-on I've ever made, so we're going all the way back there. And this add-on's based on adding more colour variety to blocks in the game. And since the last update there's been quite a few changes, so I thought a full guide is in session. One major feature being that all the painter blocks have been fully retextured from scratch to actually match each other. And because it's been a while since I've updated this, I really wanted to redo it, so it's an add-on I can be happy with, so I hope you guys enjoy this. So now let's move on to the basics of this add-on. The minimum you need to know. So the one and only block you need to craft is this thing, which is a paint workbench. It's a very simple recipe, it only requires plank sticks, paper, and a crafting table. And that's how you get it. What you use this for is to access most of the add-on. So you can see it already here, you can paint different blocks. You might be wondering what this paint bucket is. Well, that's what I'll go on to next. You'll eventually realise that you can use different methods of painting. So this is one method which is using the crafting table to make eight at a time. Or you can use bucket dunking, which is by getting these paint buckets. What these paint buckets are, it's just a water bucket with a certain dye. And you can actually place them down. Since the past few updates, they've been items, but now I've just completely made them blocks because they look nicer. And now with some planks, if you just want one painter block, you can just interact with the bucket and that'll give you blue planks. So this method's a lot easier to do now that you can actually just use the block. And each paint bucket has up to eight paints. And you'll see that later with the paintbrush. Just like so. And the third method of painting your blocks is through painting. So if you want a more immersive experience of painting, you can obviously use paintbrushes. So these have been completely redesigned. Uh, the more I expand upon the 1.20 brush style, as you can see right here. But if you guys preferred the old style paintbrushes, you can see that they'll live on as part of the paint workbench's texture. The paintbrush and the paint roller. So you might come to realise that there's actually two different styles of paintbrush. First one's the base paintbrush. It has four uses, so you can paint four blocks at a time with one uh, dunk with the bucket. And um, it only requires an iron ingot and a single feather. You can craft this in both the paint workbench and the crafting table, just like so. And yeah. Meanwhile, the premium paintbrush requires three feathers and a gold ingot, so it's slightly more expensive. But what you're getting out of that is 16 uses of it so you can paint 16 blocks at a time with a full durability and again you craft it the same either in a paint uh, crafting table or a paint workbench now you might be thinking to yourself what blocks could you actually paint in a add-on well bricks planks they were the original two blocks in the add-on logs wood leaves cobblestone stone stone bricks now chiseled stone bricks and you can actually paint some vanilla blocks such as uh, wool, terracotta, concrete, and even glass and glass paints. And it doesn't just stop there, you can actually paint non-solid blocks such as brick slabs, plank slabs, uh, cobblestone slabs, stone slabs, and stone brick slabs. And you've probably already seen here, you can paint fences and fence gates. How awesome. I'll just give you an example. So if I just get some uh, pr a basic paintbrush, I can paint up to four blocks. But then if I paint with the premium paintbrush, it fills a path. Because the paint bucket can only hold eight uses, you need to use it twice to fill it back up. So it works the exact same, but you can actually use it for much longer, having up to 16 uses. And of course I'll show you the, uh, the fences and fence gates. Of course, you can't actually paint the fence gate by right-clicking on it. But you can dunk it in a bucket. Just like that. And of course, guys, if you're interested, this add-on fully supports ray tracing. So now you can actually paint in style. And you've probably been seeing just right behind me. I've brought back the classic house I've used to showcase in my old videos. Completely rebuilt. And this is just an example of what you can actually do with your house. But that's it for today guys, I know this is quite a small add-on, 
that's what I intended it to be. I'm finally happy with this add-on, and I hope the showcase helps you understand how to get started in it. It's a very simple premise, so I hope I did alright. By the way guys, of course, anything you guys request is a bonus of this add-on. If you wanted to add a new block you can paint, just let me know. I mean, if you want proof, uh, the painted leaves were only requested by a user of this add-on. They wanted to make fully painted trees, so I thought, why not? And there it is in the add-on. So if you guys want to request anything, just let me know, and even you could be responsible for the next painted block. So just let me know. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and please subscribe if you're new to this channel. Uh, I'll obviously keep you posted on any updates to this add-on. I'm, of course, going to be adding more blocks in the future. But this is the palette you can have at the minute, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!